And Bob, I have been following. I've got one of your books right here. Really? Wow. Uh, uh, have you finished it? I just I just got it recently, and I and with this reminder, then I'm I'm gonna start it tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hi everyone. Uh, thank you for coming here today, and uh, I will. Uh, today is uh, poems and speech live with uh, uh, Bob uh, Parker. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to interview him and he's going to share some of his uh, poems and uh, his, about his story. And uh, I'm gonna go to my screen, I'll be right there. And so uh, hopefully you can see my, uh, my screen. And here today, uh, Bob is going to, uh, uh, he's going to talk about his story in a second, and, uh, and let me go to that. And if we're going to stop here. Uh, and just to let you know, uh, Bob, Bob was a uh, a uh, a teacher, a uh, scholar, a a uh, writer, a author, and a poem poet, and. Uh, he had uh, had two strokes, and uh, and Bob, you had a heart attack too, right? No, right? No, no? no. Okay. No. Oh, that was that was me. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Sorry. And let me go to uh, if you would like to, we can go right to your uh, your story if you want to uh, read that. I'll put it on my screen. All right. Can you see this, uh, yep. Bob? Yep. Okay. Having completed the Master of Arts in teaching degree, I went to Illinois to teach English at Hen High School. Resigned from that position, did the PhD at Northwestern University and taught at the University of Chicago for two years and at Rutgers for 20 years. I resigned and moved to Reno and eventually to Las Vegas. Lots of jobs in between. Then I was hired as a, uh, as a associate professor of organizational leadership at the University of Laverne in Laverne, California. I taught research to <laughs> Five doctoral students via online classes and live in class. Two days later, I left our continent for Jones Covey Roses to buy Kevin Chinos. Stroke occurred when I was in the parking lot. I froze in the car. The ambulance arrived five minutes later. Paramedic force came through as if it were from someone else. I passed out while driving to Huntington Hospital. The doctor gave me TPA, which restored blood 
to the brain. Uh, I woke in the emergency room. What in the hell has happened to me? Right arm useless. Right leg slightly better. Horse quasi silent. I turn my head from side to side. There is. Second stroke was worse. I couldn't swallow, walk, talk, or write. Nurses shoveled me to the wheelchair. Two nurses struggled to stand me up. I shoveled three steps along the wall for nurses following me. Nurses wheeled me to the table. She speaks never press a season to pronounce I. Second session. I could. Third session. I could not. Jen Parker, my daughter, and Sandy, her husband, watched me closely and helped out when they could. Steve Harvard came twice from Montana. Lou Parker came once from Connecticut. Mark Runner, a friend, wheeled me out into the warm sun. Uh, Mark talked quietly. I listened silently. Mark wheeled me back. Uh, release after 48 days. I walked on again to the car. Six months for speech ever be. I go an occupational therapy. Three months for physical therapy. We moved back to Las Vegas. I watched television, read, and soothed. I stretched my neck up to observe the blossoming trees. Is this all there is? What would I do with the rest of my life? These thoughts whirl around my head. Joe Missouri, she judges that I begin the book about my strokes. I reluctantly agreed and typed with my, uh, my left hand. Three weeks to do page one. I crumbled it up. It took me two weeks to rework the first page. Uh, I published the book called I Am On My Way to Healing Two Strokes and a Recovery. It was a rediscovery. I needed, I could write it, but I needed to build up those ordinary skills 
or what I thought, thought were ordinary, ordinary to speak again. Uh, until, again, until I could compare myself with the other writers in prose and poetry. I created Hellas Horseman for aspiring writers in Las Vegas. Jesse Civil press on with his dissertation. He wanted to know if I would be the second member of his committee. Yes, I squeezed out. He uh, never identified leadership as the target chronicle in the Harry Potter series. I reckon many leadership and followership. He said, said yes and starts off to read various theories. I arrived in, in uh, South Pasadena. Jen and Sandy wiggled me back. Not long after, Chris Ewing, Emma Regis, Troke was Robert, and host of Life After Strokes. Uh, Sitting me in reading poems to stroke your virus. Jesse helped me develop my website. I joined Virtual Writers Club and recited poems and prose. I joined uh 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 Homes in speech.com, posted by Mark Harder, and reciting poems and prose. Guess where I am now. I will be uh, interviewed by Mark Harder. Buckle up. <laughs> we are stroke survivors or not stroke survivors, doesn't matter. I flourish the fight to strokes, ferocious determination. <laughs> <laughs> I had been a writing teacher for 35 years. Now I was back to zero. Over 10 years, I experimented with style, structures, and flow of running that made sense to me. I settled on truth and honesty with the twist of irony thrown in. So my journey has paid off. Rain first, talking second, and so socializing a close third. We can make a plan. We can stick to it. We can act out with help from good friends. Thank you. You did very well. Thank you. Bob, that was did really well here on here. And uh, 
I like your poem, your poem, uh, your website is on uh, poems and speech too, uh, yeah, with, right. your, uh, with your, with uh, your, with your poems there too. So very nice. Uh, thank you. There's, uh, let me see, Daryl, uh, Daryl, uh, what were you saying on there? Uh, so if you know oh, he says he was in Northwestern. And, uh, and, University uh, of South. But the other one was Rutgers. Those were the big 10. Nice. <clears throat> That's great. And uh, I, 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 been 10 years in Chicago. Chicago too. That was the other one between. Yeah. All from 1960 to 70. And let me go, I'm gonna go back to my uh my screen. Okay, um Wrong one. Here, um, just from reading your uh, your books, uh, I know that you were uh, you you as a young man, uh, or you uh, was very good with uh, uh, activities and uh, and. Uh, different uh, sports. You were good on sports, but your, uh, your mother uh, steered you uh, uh, for you to, uh, to read and write. And you wanted, she thought that you would be a, uh, a teacher for uh, English. Is that, is that true? Is that true? I think that's true. Uh, she didn't say English, but she meant it. <laughs> She meant it, um, and uh, and then you. Uh, uh, My father yeah. was a chemist, and he rose far up to uh, the uh, American side and 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 um, and and then you, when at that time you lived in uh, New Jersey, right? So, and I led out of New Jersey to Willard's College to escape my father. Hmm. Go back again. And, uh, when you and then you were a uh, you did become a teacher, and mm -hmm. you wanted to uh, encourage your uh, students to uh, to journal uh, have journal. a uh, a journal. Is that is that true? You, yes. In nineteen sixties two, I created the journal. Oh, and. And from uh, your, uh, okay. No, go ahead, uh, was, Mark. Okay, I was going to say that uh, uh, you, you were encouraging your teachers, but some of them, like in the beginning, they didn't really want to do that, but and some people really didn't want to do it. Uh, but uh, it, it seemed like after a while, they really enjoyed it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you uh, you have to um, uh, journal along until they enjoy it. Some people uh, really uh, took to the journal. Some people didn't take to the journal at all. No. Uh, so, but that uh, I really am, I like what you were doing there uh, to uh, be able to uh, 
if they were to uh, read about what they were doing, they could actually uh, 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 they uh, could actually journal it, and then uh, uh, if they felt like doing it, write about it. Uh, reading to journaling to writing them. Thank you. Uh, and then, uh, now, so I guess I, I got this one wrong. You didn't have a heart attack, but there, there was something going on when you were, when you were riding, you, you used to ride around or uh, run and you had, uh, that wasn't when you had a heart attack, right? I wrote, I wrote about in, in your book that uh, you were uh, having a problem when you were, uh, as you were riding. Oh. Running, run, you're running, you're running. Do you remember that one? Yes. I had a problem when I was running and also when I was running, but that was before the strokes. Yes. All right. So. Thanks for, uh, I read these things and sometimes I don't know what they are. <laughs> so, but thanks. Uh, and then, and then uh, one thing that was really uh, very interesting uh, as you, you had a lot of uh, colleagues and friends and all, all over uh, in uh, different uh, countries and stuff. And they said that, uh, you were they were working on something and they said about the uh theory of knowing rather than the uh theory of uh knowledge can yeah. you explain that i'm going to stop that for a second uh uh, uh yes i can explain that okay there the theory of Nas, uh, no, uh, I, I focus on the theory of knowing, not the theory of knowledge. Uh, uh, when you have, uh, A knowledge, uh, you put it in a book. But when you, uh, uh, when, uh, when your theory is of knowing, it has to be talked about and then put in a book. Uh, is that clear? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I, <laughs> and, uh, thank you. Uh, let me see. I think somebody's trying to get in here for, uh, but uh, I don't see somebody who's trying to get here, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think it was very uh, interesting. Uh, you know, the way I was thinking is that to be able to, like some people have knowledge, but they don't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. And they don't know how to expand the knowledge. Yeah. That, that is a really important point. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thank you. And then uh, go back again. Let's see. And um, there was uh, being, you were determined to uh, recover from uh, two uh, very uh, uh, two strokes 
uh, what I, I, we were talking about uh, about your story when you were talking about that. You said that uh, you could have just sat there and watch TV mm -hmm. and be be on the uh, be at sitting at the uh, chair, uh, but I know that you and, and worked very very hard. Yes, I were uh, I worked worked very hard. I couldn't uh, stand. Uh, couldn't stand the strokes. I had to get better in spite of the strokes. In spite of the strokes. In spite of it, yes, in spite of it. Because you have to, uh, you want to, uh, you know, all this knowledge before your stroke, you still have all that knowledge and in in uh your your uh your uh everything you knew before your stroke is still there, but it was just keeping you away from getting to it. And so you worked very hard to get back to the things that you yes. that you could say and do. So, uh get back and then get forward from uh, uh, get back and then get forward get up. yes you go back and then 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 you go forward yep that's exactly right so like starting with abc's and one two threes <laughs> i had to do all that yes I had to do all of that. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't count. One, two, uh, that's, uh, that's it. Yes. Now I can count to a hundred or two hundred. Yes, well. I could do it too, but it's going to take a long time for me to do that. <laughs> but, but yes, but it's, uh, you know, just working on that is, you know, if you want to get back where you were, you have to, you have to start there again and come back again. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, there was another thing during your stroke. I, but were you able uh, the inner speech, and you had a a, a, a urgency to uh, uh, find writing again? Uh, can you tell me about uh, inner speech? Because I'm doing I do uh, therapy sometimes, uh, mm -hmm. and and in this therapy uh, they. They do some things that are called inner speech. Mm -hmm. um, it, did you do that, or were you processing your own uh, in, inner speech? Because I think all of us are well, trapped I, in in that. I did both. Okay, Writing my own inner speech and writer's uh, speech with. The speech language pathologist. Speech language pathologist. Uh, I did them both. You did it? Yes, I. Uh, I think I did it uh, uh, from. I, I had uh, four speech language pathologists. And, uh in uh inner speech is uh i think it's is hard and tiresome to actually speaking sometimes to uh inner speech and to do a 
a uh, a a whole uh, a uh, sentence. It's it's hard to get everything right in your mind. So oh, yeah. I think yes, it's I uh, often uh, start the sentence and then get half way through and blankness. <laughs> yes. Yes. And does it happen to you too that uh, uh, I have a good line that I want to write? Oh, I, got, I, I really that. And, and then you, you go to write it down or type it and then it's gone. <laughs> You're just like, oh, that's so good. And like, oh, I lost it. <laughs> I don't know if that happens to you. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, I mean, I uh, I write, but I have trouble speaking. Mm. Okay. I I I am fine with running now. Okay. Okay. But I still have trouble speaking to you, to Mark, to all the other faces. Well, you, but you're doing very well because we know what you're saying. And I know that you have maybe uh, get to a word, but we know what you're saying. And uh, so you know what you're gonna say. It's just trying to get it out is, is good, but you're doing great. <clears throat> and then, I, I listen. Uh, more than I speak. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so you were doing uh, using uh, before uh, and then after, and this is uh, what, so this is, uh, like I said, after, after your stroke, it, we would love to take that time for yourself to muse and then to uh, write uh, by yourself. But uh, because of the stroke, it's like, now it's, you want to do the stuff, but it's hard to do it uh, or express it. So uh, it's, but are you still it's, enjoy, are you in, still enjoying yourself doing this? Oh, yes. Yes. I still enjoy myself writing i i i know uh that is sometimes hard and i sometimes sit in in front of the screen and nothing comes up uh then otherwise uh tons comes up Hands comes up. Uh, I missed that, that one. Let me uh, stop that for a second. Uh, yeah, I, I missed it, what you said at the end. I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, um, uh, T O N S comes up. Tons comes up. I I can't keep up with my running. It, uh, oh. yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yes. Can't keep up with my running. Right. It, oh. The fact that I uh I would throw it away. I would would trash it. <laughs> yeah i yes yeah, it trying to uh well if i try to speak too fast i will you know just mess everything up so uh but not, let me see. not everything up just sometimes you would mess up yeah yeah uh yeah like the word that i really want to use <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the one I can't do. Ah. 
<laughs> Ray, uh, okay. uh, I think let me go here and uh, just to let everybody know uh, and uh, I have this uh, is I'm going to email everyone about again about your uh, your uh, books and then uh, I've actually uh, read two of them and you know, I have to say that I'm uh, I'm proud of myself that I can actually read two of them. So, uh, uh, but thank you. And I did it before uh, before we uh, I was done on Friday. So, but uh, I enjoyed uh, uh, the uh, poems and uh, stories uh, from uh, 2016. And I have revised some of those uh, poems using, uh, using, uh, using ones. So to last thing inside. Yes, yes. And uh, isn't that funny when you look at something, you said, was I ever that old? Is that, were you ever <laughs> that old on <in> there? <laughs> That's good. And then if we go to... Uh, Okay, this we, we actually did your story here, uh, but and and you like to have your coffee though when you get, do that uh, too, right? <laughs> four cup of quarter a day. Really? Is yeah. it, is it uh, decaf? No. Whoa, geez. <laughs> Strong coffee. Uh, I get yeah. Two uh, cups in the morning and two cups after lunch. Yeah, I, I can't do that anymore. I just have decaf now. But uh, and then, <laughs> but these are your poems. And uh, if you would like to, uh, if you would like to read uh, the, uh, the poems that you have, it's on a. Uh, let me make that make sure it's ready. Uh, okay, make sure it's the right one. And then start here. Can you see it? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Is it big enough? Ralph C. Ripley. With that look of amuse, of tendedness, Ralph. Watch me pick ripe smelling big boy tomato. I twist it right and curl luscious tomato in my hands. My small fingers made dance in his flesh. He chuckled. Turned on garden bosses and washed the dust worlds from Big Boy in gravel tender voice. He said, Jason, you take the first bite. Thrilled, I to the sugar from his rough hand and shook the white bristle to warm silk wet tomato. I bit in to the sun baked tomato, tomato and tasted salty Acid sweet flesh with his pinkish juice squirting up my cheese. I love the pleasure he took in watching me with use dribbling off my fingers. 
it was the best moment of my young life. <laughs> That's a that's a good uh, tomato, good one. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, 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 I love it in Burlington, Ontario. Oh, I was in Ontario. Okay. Hmm? I thought I thought I thought they were hmm? in uh, 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 a a a. Uh, a uh, a Jersey one. <laughs> no, no. Uh, in Burlington, Ontario. Oh, not nice. away. <laughs> yes, not, not far from uh, James. Nice. <laughs> Question, are you the big boy? Because you need it? What? what? Did you need, were you the big boy? Oh, <laughs> or tomato. Tomato. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for. Uh, okay. That was uh, one. second one. At year seven, Mom felt secure in her public library. She gracefully killed her people and otherwise radiated warmth. I love us room. I gobble up children's books as if his day had gone out of style. With my new library card, I signed out four books. She beamed. We left together. Bring little hands held larger hands. I recall that vision as real. Mm, that was nice. Yeah. That's, that's so nice that your mom was able to, you and your mom were able to enjoy yourselves. Uh, and just like, uh, uh, your grandfather enjoying watching, seeing you having a tomato, mm -hmm. and then your mom enjoying uh, that you are uh, gobbling up the uh, books. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really nice. Both of those, very nice. Second. Heart attack, paralyzed by loss. I flew eastward. I remember the church's entrance. I remember the vestibule, the Fulton ceiling, the pro. Session in and the procession out. I felt detached from the funeral. I felt like someone else was singing, singing, singing there. I saw a boat grief in. Second daily vision, I saw the lashes of her death, labored last breath, her shriveled face, two hands 
holding upon, holding on her chest as a symbol of memory. Sherry Casket. It was surreal. Haunted by an enigma. I imagine slow, blurred funeral with no death below. Mom was beautiful and vain. I knew she was alive. That's that line is uh, slow, uh, blurred uh, funeral with no death blow. That's uh, that's something. This is a haiku. Mom, after mind. Minds shatter, begging species in memory. Only holders survive. Mm -hmm. oh, it's very nice. Thank you. Chris in Masula. Did you see us standing by your bed? You were unmarked, calm, even normal. Your heart beat as we caress the long arms, skinny chest, and shedding run blonde hair. So I nurse came and thrust your hair lovingly, as if she were your mother. You Snatched from your body, vanish. Your heart was still beating on the hum. Did you hear us cry? Did you hear us say, Do we love you? Did, did, you hear us say goodbye, terrain softly sobbing. We wrench away from the room. We waited patiently until the machine turned off. Step back on the ceiling. You saw everything. Bob, Bob, you're uh, the first ones were uh, so uh, uh, kind of uh, very uh, light, light ones and nice, and, uh, but you uh, so far it. You know, I feel uh, your what you're saying, and uh, it's uh, so devastating sometimes, and that you're and you were able to uh, read about it like that. It's very, very nice. Sorry. Uh, Nina, you have something to say about that? I remember when it happened 
and I find that the poem is very powerful and moving. Yeah. And I think you've done a really extraordinary <laughs> representation of what it must have been like in the room with him. Yes. Thank um, you. Thank you. Yes. And uh, Michael O. Uh, uh, he said it was uh, wonderful, and uh, he was also and uh, Ladonna loved it too. And then uh, Michael saying something about uh, Montana coming many times, so that'll be coming up, I think. From Missoula, Montana, he's coming from Missoula, Montana with um, Stroke Across America. And so Missoula always needs me now when I think of Missoula, Montana, always moves to me because Missoula has a special place now. Yeah. That's, that's right. It has a special place for you, Michael. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Enid, Enid. Sorry. Yes. Enid. Yes. I hadn't seen you before, but you're here. Well, let me stop. Let me stop here. I see everyone here. Uh, so you can see everyone. So I also oh I didn't know everyone else was here too so uh, so thank you and uh, we'll go back to uh, your uh, to your poems there Bob okay nice Al I right of Poland first. I removed glasses and closed my eyes. Second, I savor images with a sharp mind. You know, inner vision is pursued and not outer vision. I can Dungeon a mental dig, shifting memories shards. I sh shifting images until I discover precise memory. D I realize the world when I found it. Glittering, the did I value words that the many names, tempting words, bespeaks title, its beauty and sadness, a lot to witness from Natalie to the poem. Well, genuine, yes. Fulfilled, ah, uh, yes. Coincident, central, <laughs> central, Thomas, coming. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Uh. That that revision was one of the last uh, times I uh, I revised the poem. I just thought that quintessential poems coming. <laughs> I mean, uh, I I laugh about that. 
and uh, does uh, um, does anybody else uh, before he, I think you have do you have one or a couple of them left? Does anybody want to talk about that poem? Or no, I have I've finished. Okay. All right. Um, there was one thing. Uh, let me go back to here again. There was one thing I wanted to go back to here. I wanted to say that uh, there was uh, people uh, find homes everywhere. Uh, that was one thing I was going to ask you about. Uh, you, you had. Uh, I think that you encourage everyone to write and have poems and uh, and prose and uh, uh, journal. Uh, you know, there's. Uh, I think there was some uh, teachers uh, don't. You know, they weren't seeing poems all everywhere, but you were. You were always seeing poems. Yes, and also uh, everybody came to write poems and and prose. Uh, uh, some people might might not want to make the problem visible or the host visible, just keep it uh, in the journal or uh, poetry book or wherever. I mean, that, that's all right, but I do want the Everybody to write and do music and do art and do dance. All, all art, art and dance. Does anyone uh, have any questions, uh, any comments or anything? We, uh, I, I thank you. Uh, that uh, that you were here today, uh, and uh, thank you, Ina. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. They're wonderful poems. Yeah, really, really. good. I really like think we met. We haven't. I I haven't been able to visit. I can't apologize for coming in a little bit late, but I got to hear most uh, most of your poems. Um, I'm Roberta. I'm a yes. speech pathologist in the in the area here in Philadelphia. Are you are you in Canada, Robert? Or no, I am in South Pasadena, California. Oh, oh, <laughs> and and Bob, uh, Roberta uh, would be my. Uh, uh, co uh, uh, host. Uh, she hasn't been available in a couple uh, times. So she, uh, but we would love to have her back when she's ready to come back again. So she would uh, help me. Uh, uh, you guys did a great me. job. You guys. Uh, uh, I have, uh, I am half Canadian. Uh, and I lived up there for six years. Oh, okay. Nice. I, I especially, I loved your poem about images, uh, uh, the mental d digging. I, as a person who cannot see pictures in my mind, I'm always, it's just, I'm just always fascinated by, by people who can do that. I, that's just, a, a really fascinating. Your description of how you write a poem was just beautiful. Really? Thank you for sharing that. I I wake up 
in the morning about three o'clock and uh, I visualize a poem or a prose piece and I go back to sleep. Uh, then when I get up, I, I turn on the computer and try to uh, um, cover the home or the prose piece. That's amazing, wow. Yeah. Well, uh, well, thank you everyone. Uh, it's a uh, couple, uh, couple minutes after. Uh, yeah. So, thank uh, you, but thank Mark. you everyone. Thank you. Thank and you, Bob. Mark. Thank you. Um, okay. Nice to see you, Berta. Nice, nice to see everybody. Bye. Oh, hell hey, Bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye all. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mark. Thank, thank you. you, everybody. We'll email you later. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop uh, recording in a second. Nice job, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, tried to uh, stop. You did a great